What's up, Prize 5 fans? I'm Brian Tong, and tablets might be all the craze, but growth in the e-reader market has outpaced the tablet market over the past six months, setting us up perfectly for this week's Prize 5 punch out between the Amazon Kindle and the Barnes & Noble Nook Touch. Our judges for this fight are senior editor John Go Home Falcone, executive editor David the Bad Boy Carnoy, and myself, Brian Can't Go Wrong Tong. Now we'll take all three judges' scores and average them out to the nearest tenth each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same decimal system. Get ready for five rounds of action. First up is design. Amazon's Kindle has a sleek design with a solid feel and the matte black finish adds some class. But its keyboard is a relic from the past. It adds an extra inch. And do you still even want to use a D-pad? In this case, bigger isn't better. Now the Barnes & Noble Nook Touch is the cleanest looking e-reader on the market right now. Its contour design is comfortable to hold. We wish it was a little thinner, but its smaller footprint is nifty and gives it the edge. The Nook Touch comes out swinging with a perfect 5 and the Kindle gets a 3.3. Next round is navigation and interface. The Kindle's navigation is very straightforward, but it feels a little old school using a D-pad that takes more steps to get you where you want to go. Plus, my non-techie friends took more time to figure it out as well. Now, nothing beats the ease of use of a touch interface, and this is where the Nook Touch shines. Its single home button is really the only button you need. It feels natural to swipe to turn pages, it's easy to get around, and this is the real difference maker. The Nook Touch strikes again with another perfect 5, and the Kindle gets a 3.7. So after averaging two rounds, the Nook Touch leads by a huge margin, but this fight's not over. Round 3 is features and technology. These e-readers feature the latest Pearl e-ink screens, and they look great when reading books, magazines, newspapers, and more. The Kindle can also handle music playback to listen while reading, audiobooks, a simplified web browser, text-to-speech reading, access to a few games, and borrowing e-books from the library will be coming by the end of the year. Now, the Nook is really just an e-reader, but fast-forwarding through your pages couldn't be easier. There's an SD card expansion slot, a workaround in search gets you access to the web, social hooks allow you to post to Facebook and Twitter, and you can borrow library books through the OverDrive service right now. The Kindle brings options that take it beyond just an e-reader, and it takes its first round with a 4, and the Nook Touch gets a 3.3. Next round is performance. Both e-readers have an impressive two-month battery life with Wi-Fi turned off. Their Pearl e-ink screens are as good as you can get. Menu navigation is the same, and they're equals when it comes to page turning speed. But the edge here goes to the Nook with its ability to only show you that nasty black flash once every five or six pages, and it makes a huge difference in the reading experience. The Nook Touch takes this one with a 4.7, and the Kindle gets a 4.3. So after averaging four rounds, the Kindle has cut the lead in half, the final round that decides it all is value. Neither of these e-readers hits the magic $99 price point we're hoping for, but the Kindle gets as low as $114 with an ad-supported model that doesn't get in the way of reading, $139 for the standard version. Now it's the best value for an e-reader with audio support and a web browser. The Nook Touch retails for $139. You're paying a little extra for that touchscreen, but it's still a solid value for everything you're getting. It's still not low enough, and Amazon's Kindle takes the cake with a 4.7, and the Nook gets a 4. So let's average out all five rounds, and in a prize fight where the Nook Touch came out with two perfect rounds, the Kindle fought back, but it just wasn't good enough, and the Barnes & Noble Nook takes this battle 4.4 to 4, and is the new e-reader prize fight champion. Both of these are great devices, but it was the Nook Touch's design, touch screen and interface, and performance that earned it the title of King of the Ring. I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time on another prize fight. What?